Hi guys, so today is my 11 2012 and uh, this video, in this video I will show you how to record audio from your musical hardware which is a drum machine or synthesizer or whatever uh, or microphone into your laptop. So why am I doing this video? Because uh, first is a request from my YouTube friend Zach, so I'll Zach this for you. And second, many YouTube guys uh, just uh, have very cool music, but uh, what they do is that uh, they press play on their drum machine or whatever, and uh, they put the audio on. on their speakers and they record they record the audio from the ambience uh, this is not just lame this is total crap because the audio sounds like crap so even if you have the cooler music in the world but you record it that way nobody will like it so what is what are the alternatives the alternatives are to record your audio from uh, your musical machine or whatever you use into something like a laptop or another media. So how you can do this? Well, in this video I will try to show you uh, the very basic steps uh, and very simple way how you can record your audio. First. Uh, the simple, the most simple way that you can use is to use uh, the audio input of the sound card that it's built into your laptop. And uh, yes, uh, you can record directly into your laptop. So um, what I first did is I used to, uh, that was uh, long time ago, I, uh, I got an audio cable which had a quarter inch on one side, uh, two quarter inches actually for the stereo signal, and um, small uh, stereo jack that I used, like this one, that I used to input into directly into my laptop. I did this experiment because I wanted to see what will happen. Well, the result is a crap. Uh, I will explain. The thing is that into your laptop you have um, a hard disk and you have cooling fans and this thing what they do is that they do noise which interferes with uh, the audio, audio signal coming uh, into your sound card. So if you try to record audio directly from your music hardware into your laptop that way into your sound card it will sound noisy it will sound like crap so it would not make much sense if you record it that way or directly from your speakers so what can you do well depends what hardware you're trying to record so first of all, if you are recording a synthesizer, check um, your audio outputs. Actually check uh, anything that you have on the back of the machine at all. Uh, if you watch my previous videos, you know that first thing that I review when I review a machine is uh, what inputs and outputs do you have? Because this is the connectivity of the machine. So what you always have is some sort of audio outputs. In my case I have few of them and I use two of them because these are the main audio outputs left and right channel. Um, what you will also have probably is a USB port. So many synthesizers already have USB port. 
and uh, you must check what you can do with your USB port because usually the USB port serves as a MIDI interface so you can directly connect your machine with your laptop and record MIDI that way okay so uh, what is MIDI? first thing that uh, many newbies do is that they see the USB port and uh, they ask the dealer can I connect my synthesizer with my laptop with my computer they say yes here is your MIDI uh, here is your USB port you can connect your synthesizer with your laptop and they are happy they get a USB cable they connect the synthesizer with the computer and then they have a surprise no audio recorded well yes if you read a little bit further what is MIDI and uh, what can you do with the USB port of your synthesizer you will know why but if you are a first timer if this is your first synthesizer if you are new to musical hardware it's normal that you will get this result so what is MIDI I will do separate video showing exactly what is MIDI and how you can use it but for the purpose of this video I will just explain that very important first MIDI is not audio and audio is not MIDI so MIDI is a protocol to uh, connect electronic musical instruments or any electronic uh, musical hardware of various type into one network and uh, they can communicate uh, via the MIDI protocol so this is like uh, computer network imagine few computers connected into a network but uh, they are using the Ethernet or Wi-Fi network whatever network they use um, they use the TCP IP protocol to communicate between them so in the case of the musical hardware this is the MIDI protocol so you can connect different musical machines with cables and uh, they can communicate with each other but uh, that's it I will not talk anymore about MIDI because this is out of the scope of this video just remember MIDI is not audio um, you must definitely check if you have a USB port if you can record audio from this port too because uh, the very modern synthesizers have not just built-in MIDI interface but also built-in audio interface so the USB port of the synthesizer uh, can transmit not just MIDI data but also audio data so you can directly connect your synthesizer with your laptop just press play and record your audio directly into your laptop so uh, you will not need this or this but the classical way is not like this um, because usually instruments don't have built-in audio interface so here is what you can do first thing that you need are some preparations basically let's split them in two you need, uh, you need a certain hardware and you need a certain software first of all let's say that uh, the laptop is not the only media that you can record your audio to instead of a laptop you can have a digital recorder so no computer is needed into this setup you just record your musical equipment into your digital recorder and you're ready to go but I don't have one so I cannot show you this setup my setup is that I have something that produces audio I have a mixer and I have an audio interface first let's talk about the audio interface so what is this? in my case this is audio box USB created by Presonus it is a two channel 
audio interface so you can connect two mono uh, instruments at the same time or you can connect uh, the left and right stereo outputs of your machine into the left and right uh, into uh, the first and second audio channel audio input channel of your audio interface there are different audio interfaces PreSonus is not the only brand you can have a Tascam audio interface or uh, something else depends I will not talk about audio interfaces here uh, because they are different and uh, you may be happy with another I got uh, good words about this one that's why I got it so what the audio interface serves for is that you connect your audio equipment to your audio interface and uh, you get the audio signal going inside the audio interface on the other side you have a USB cable going directly into your laptop so the audio signal is analog at this point going analog inside the audio interface which uh, transforms it into digital signal and the digital signal goes into the laptop what is the benefit of this? you can think of this as a second audio card um, the benefit is that uh, the audio signal gets uh, into digital signal outside your computer which means that uh, no noise is interfering from your laptop and uh, the audio signal is much cleaner that way that's why I have an audio interface because my first experiment trying to uh, record audio directly into the laptop was not successful and I learned that I have to that I need an audio interface but uh, what would happen if you have uh, multiple instruments and you want to record them at the same time then you need a mixer so this is a very simple mixer very easy to use this is a Behringer uh, 12 channel mixer with uh, built-in effect effects processor so the mixer stands for serves for uh, connecting different uh, musical equipment into it so you have different inputs for different types of uh, instruments you can connect here microphones or uh, I connect here my drum machine uh, you can connect pretty much anything it gets as in this case uh, signals from different instruments and it mixes into two main channels so one is the left one is the right channel and that way you can use multiple instruments at once and uh, in my case the audio signal goes from here to here then here and finally into the laptop uh, I like to use mixer because uh, it does have preamps and it does have uh, built-in effect process processor uh, which I don't use with this machine but uh, I use the effects with uh, my microphone or other machines or my synthesizer and with the mixer I have uh, much better volume control it's more just more precise and also as you can see here you have uh, equalizer but so much for the mixer remember that the mixer stands for mixing uh, signals from different musical instruments into just two left and right channel that you can output further so uh, that's it for the hardware preparations of course you need cables and your setup is ready to go
you have something to input audio you have mixing console you have uh, a device which transforms the analog audio signal into digital audio signal and you're ready to go into the laptop so from this point on you just need a software to record your audio signal you can use uh, different programs really in my case uh, this is Windows 7 now I don't have a Macintosh computer to show you how you can do this on Macintosh computer so you have to uh, look for uh, what programs are available uh, for your Macintosh but for Windows and Linux there are different most are for uh, Windows uh, I have also different programs I have Audacity, I have Studio One and I have Cubase uh, for this video I will show you how to record uh, audio with uh, Audacity and with Cubase uh, I will not go into details uh, the point of this video is not to show you how to make professional recording like uh, let's say the Beyonce album um, the point of this video is to show you very briefly and quickly how you can record your audio so I will show you just how to create uh, how to make basic recording with Audacity and Cubase. 